you need to look at the two key success factors in any organisation who, who look, is looking to do a, make a sustainable reduction in their risk profile. It's getting the management systems right, so that's creating an environment in which drivers can drive safely. And then, of course, the next challenge is getting the drivers to drive safely. And that's all about developing the on-road safety culture so that we can start to recognise and drivers start to recognise that they may not be the best drivers in the world. Clearly, you've got to get the, the buy-in the leadership of the senior managers. But actually, what we find is the most crucial people in this process are the line managers because they control what the drivers do on an everyday basis. And if you look at the dynamic, if a driver is not hitting their operational metrics, they get into trouble. And also, if they're not hitting hitting their safety metrics they get into trouble but very simply in layman's terms the driver's going to get a bigger kicking from their line manager for not hitting their operational metrics than hitting their safety metrics and that's where the key challenge is is getting the line managers empowered and enabled to use data that's coming out whether that's risk assessment data license check data data coming from a telemetry driver behavior telemetry sitting down with the driver to understand why the driver is driving in, in that way or has set off this speed camera had this collision whatever it is get to the underlying management or driver root causes and then enabling the the, the employee to actually drive safely within the operational metrics of the business. If you look at road safety globally, the UK is one of the safest places to drive, but still, you know, 1,700 people are losing their lives in road collisions every year, and the estimate is about a third of those are involved in work-related journeys, and that's too much. So, you know, whilst we are in a good place globally, there's still a lot of people getting killed and seriously injured, and a lot of those are work-related journeys. So there are a couple of sort of shining lights in the industry who, who manage this very well, but most organisations don't. And, it's that, and one of the reasons is it's actually quite difficult to manage. So I think organisations need encouragement and help um, to do that.